What's up guys, it's your boy Sion, and I'm back with another episode of the MMO Show. For everybody who's new to the MMO Show, I basically talk about the week in MMO, if there was something relevant, or I just bring up a topic, which this week is going to be a topic. Now, I do apologize for last week not having an MMO Show. My voice was not up to it to talk for that particular that long like that. It just wasn't happening. I had other videos after that, but it just wasn't happening around the time that the MMO Show was about to come out. So this week... The topic is going to be the game within and what that means is is what is the game within the game now again what that means is what type of player are you so i'm going to have eight types of players that we're going to talk about and i'm going to give each of them quality time and this may be a little bit longer than the normal but we're going to just go right into it and the very first gamer i want to talk about is the hardcore gamer now the hardcore gamers, the guys who come in, they want everything. Just they want to have the best gear. They want to be standing in some city board for 60% of the game time that they're in to say that look, I beat the best boss and I beat the best raid and all that type of stuff. And that's all well and good because this means they like to accomplish things in life, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's the same as having a fly car and going downtown to wherever your downtown is and just sitting there and getting the car washed and you know for us and I I'm guilty of doing that, so I can't judge anybody in the game for doing something like that hardcore people are also the people who they can be pvp too they don't just necessarily have to be pve they can even be trade skill they can even be people who want to have the most money in the game so you can't just put hardcore as just raiders and stuff like that they just want to get ahead and they want to succeed so that said they also get a little bit of a downside because sometimes the people get a little bit too much ego and just feel that they can just say or do whatever they want to do to people and you got to kind of kick them in the balls a little bit and bring them in check so that's a little bit hardcore so now you have number two which is the casuals the casuals are the people who come in they just want to enjoy the game they're not trying that hard they're not necessarily weak gamers because I, I don't like it when people say casuals are weak because I know a few casual people who are actually very good at the game but they just don't feel the need to try that hard or they got a, a long work week they just don't feel like coming into a game and making the game a job and you know that's fine like you know you don't, a game doesn't need to be a job and when a game does become a job that's when you need to stop playing that game so casual people are cool usually usually but <laughs> that leads me to my next one the number three which is the perfectionist now the perfectionist can be car they can be casual they can be hardcore but these are the people who want to just they want a hundred percent total in the game if there if there's a game that you wouldn't want to get a hundred percent and you want to get like a hundred percent map or something like that like in guild wars 2 or you want a hundred percent of all raid kills and whatever game if you want a hundred percent of every item collected these are those people they want to have every single thing in the game so they can say in the mmo that they beat the game those are those people right there and that is possible with a lot of games but then you can you kind of end up screwed sometimes because the game adds new content that you can't necessarily get right away or it's time gated and stuff like that but perfectionists will get it they'll they'll go out there and they'll get that so you don't even need to have to worry about all that type of stuff so that leads me up to number four the collector collectors are interesting because they're not necessarily perfectionists to be honest with you like they don't actually have to have everything but they actually go after everything and they don't necessarily go after everything in pvp or pve or whatever else they they just want to have stuff they like hoarders like and I, it was it's the most peculiar thing that i've known a lot of people like that where they'll raid just enough so they can get a cosmetic item and then never raid again and obviously they're like yeah well you know don't you want to and they're like nah i got i got the item i got the plushie the in-game plushie mind you not the outside game plushie and i'm like sitting there looking like yeah you need a new hobby but that leads me up to number five which i call the cash core now the cash core is a combination of a hardcore and a casual and it's interesting because a cash core will not necessarily be all the way hardcore they'll like they'll raid they'll get their gear and everything else like that and they'll be standing out there they'll they'll look just as awesome as a hardcore player they'll be just as good as a hardcore player they'll be just as good in pvp as a hardcore player and this is actually the title that i identify with the most because i'm not hardcore at one point in my life it was and I was a guild leader and I was like throwing that, like hitting the whip and like, we need to get in there, kill this, go, 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 go. But you start to realize over the course of time, that's not the way to live, to be honest with you. 
it's, it's very stressful it, it burns people out it makes you lose friends and it's just not cool so that's why i kind of you know i I, me, I cut back from that i decided that i don't want to be a good leader more i don't want to lead anybody or have to force anybody to do something because to be honest with you to be a top tier guild and a guild leader you gotta hit that whip man you gotta crack that whip there's no such thing as a top tier casual guild that is just it doesn't happen it's very rare and the only way that i think that you could possibly do that is you have so many people in your guild that you can just throw stuff together and then you be a top tier casual guild because you just could do it by force like just by sheer numbers that can happen but this not, that doesn't even exist no more it's very hard to get mega guilds anymore because people just the games are not built for that anymore it's really not wildstar tried valiantly and it worked for at least a month and i'm not kidding worked for a month that's it that's all they got and then everybody was like yeah screw this i'm not doing that and that was it so that now leads me up to the sightseer which i call the sightist which i know is just like a totally made up word but work with me all right the sightists basically are people who who come into the game and this is and believe it or not this makes up a vast majority of gaming population in every game they're the people who come in they either come in free to play or when the game is extremely cheap because sightists don't come in and pay 50 dollars just to quit and the sightists are the people who probably will be the most likely to quit out of everybody like even casuals play longer than this type of gamer so the people who come in and they want to see the graphics they want to see the game sightists actually turn into either a hardcore casual perfectionist collector or a cascore they're they that's what you come in as you come in as a sightseer majority of the time and then you change into something else but the thing is that happens is, is sometimes you just never change out of that sightseer mode. Like you just like came in and like, hey, look at these graphics right there. Like look at look at that bush over there. That bush has some good HD on it. That's that's some 720p right there. And then they fight a monster and the monster kicks their ass and then they quit. <laughs> that pretty much that's kind of what happens. Like or they go into PvP and get raffle stomped. They figure out that they can't figure out trade skills. They figure out that I don't like the dungeons in this game. This reminds me too much of World of Warcraft. Or there's like, like this is various reasons, but that's pretty much like as a sightist, that's what you come in as in, in games and you're looking around and then whatever flavor suits you is whatever you change into. But yeah. So then we have number seven, which is very interesting. The Mughal. Or Mogul. Or however you, whenever you put Mughal, it's like a, no, Mogul. And pretty much they're the people who want to amass the most well those are the guys that you buy your items from majority of the time in the game and they're also go they also gold farmers which is annoying but this is a lot of times in these games gold farmers have the crap that you need to buy and they're sitting up there on the auction house waiting for you to buy it because they done farmed it with like a thousand asian people which i know asians i know that makes you mad and i'm part asian so don't get that mad at me because whatever it no it is it's like that don't deny it. Don't try to sit up there like, oh, it's not always. A it's Asian companies in China doing it. So stop. Just stop. We, 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 we already know. So stop. And pretty much, there's nothing that you can really do about it because they actually pay for the account. So it's not like the, you just could be like, hey, like they hacked a whole bunch of stuff, which they do. I'm not going to say they don't. But there'll be these people like they pay for like a hundred account a hundred accounts and come in there and they farm and they got that they got that rare drop that you need or is this random people which there are people out there and i i knew a guy in particular who he was like a robot he was american and a retired man and he was like a robot but he was a good robot he was a good gamer he came in there and he whatever he had to do if he had to farm that dungeon or be in that raid he was in that raid in that dungeon and good at it not like he sucked and was getting carried he was good at it that's that's a mogul right there that's that's a person right there who earns it and then then he sat right up in the trade skill trade skill in the, in the um in the auction auction house and pretty much he owned it he was the richest person in world of warcraft that i knew anyway i'm pretty sure people in other servers or stuff but that i knew he was the richest person i always respected that dude because it wasn't even like he just farmed all the time he really went out there and earned everything that he had and then it would be just in the auction house i learned a lot from him gaming wise on how to um, make money in every game and i still use his practices so very much a prop 
props to him. If you ever see a guy named with a K, Climax, and he's always something like if you see any like any game with, with a K, Climax, and he, you see him have a whole bunch of money, that's who that is. He's represented for life. So I'll give him props on that. So the very ending that I want to come to is the eighth one. The dreaded one. The one that's always the most annoying. The troll. Now, why these people make accounts and why these people decide to play these games, I don't know. Why they decide to level all the way up to 60, I don't know. And why they even desire why why they even have desire to live, I don't know. But these are the people who will level up, who will raid, who will PvP, and they will spam chat with a bunch of crap. They will talk crap. They will be racist. They will insult half the server. They will piss off women. They will call men all types of names. Like they, they have no quarter. They have no respect. And it makes no sense that they pay money every month to do that. But they do. And it's unfortunate. The troll could be any of the first seven. Any of the first seven. They, I have no rhyme or reason for it. I don't know why it's like that, but it just is. So if you think about all these eight titles and what are you, you can tell me in the comment section below, even if you are a troll, if not like I got to deal with you in the game, because I'll probably just block you and ignore that you even exist in life. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I got for you this guy this week, guys. Um, I actually had fun talking about this. I had no real script for this. This was just me talking off the top of my head. I had all the um, particular titles in my head already. So I didn't even write this down. I just automatically knew what I wanted to talk about. And that's about it. So I can thank you guys again for watching me. Um, the channel is starting to actually pick up a lot of speed, a lot of steam, and I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody. And I'm actually going to be starting to appear on cam. And I'm actually going to be streaming more because a nice YouTube young lady wants me to actually show myself more. And you might actually get to see her a little bit more. I don't know about on this channel. I might have to make a second channel about that. But you're actually going to see me a whole lot more. So I'm going to have to put my face out there and all that good stuff. So you guys be legendary. One love. And thank you for stopping by. And have a good rest of your weekend. Peace. Thanks for watching another video by me, Scion Storm. If you like what you see here, please, by all means, like, subscribe, share with all your friends. It really helps me out, and I appreciate everybody who stops by. One love, and be legendary. Peace.